Hey, hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this Azure DevOps tutorial series, today let's discuss about extends template in Azure Pipeline. All right. So in this is a continuation of our previous video where we discussed about uh, introduction to Azure templates and uh, one of its type called include template. All right. With, in, with help of include template, we saw how we can you know, copy and reuse the content within a YAML file, which will actually promote reusability and efficiency in a YAML pipeline. Okay. In addition to that, that's another type called extend template all right with the help of extend template you can improve the security feature in your pipeline all right for example say you have some secured information or few parameters which you want to take control of which you do not want other members or other team to look at so what you can do is you can create a template file and put your all uh, resources and parameters in that file and you can pass that as a template to another yaml file or another pipeline that is in your project organization all right so let's see how we can um, use this extends template in your azure pipeline all right so let me create a new pipeline let me start with the blank pipeline and let me call it as um, let, let it be like azure pipelines one let me trigger And let me trigger my main all right and here comes the main one extends okay extends template let me i have not created a template yet but let me specify the template name okay resources hyphen template dot yaml all right so what you can do is if you you know if this is your main pipeline all right and um resource dot template dot yaml will have all the key informations that is like your parameters or some secured information in those kind of situation what you can do is you can create a new template file and extend that here like how i did here right so this way you can promote uh, the security feature in your pipeline and you can have a control of your uh, pipeline all right so let me save this for now and then let me create a another pipeline called let me call it as let me go to my pipelines okay, let me rename this for better understanding let me rename it to pipeline to i already have pipeline one so i let me rename it to pipeline two and let me create a new pipeline again let me call this as resource hyphen template if you remember this is the template name that we gave earlier resource hyphen template at yaml all right so i don't need all this information so there are many ways in which you can um, specify your template file okay so what one easiest way is to use a resource feature okay so in one of our previous video i discussed in detail about resource feature in yaml pipeline okay you can look at this uh, look at that video if you have more queries on the resource feature all right and the second thing is you can also add all the parameter uh, details in your template file like you if you have any build steps and there are any parameters that you want to pass in runtime you can specify those things here as well all right but for now i uh, i do not want to complicate things let me try to keep this very simple so that you have a clear understanding about how this template actually works okay so let me use our existing resource feature. Um, let me add a pipeline. So pipeline. You can add a pipeline. You can call any. Let me call it as demo. And source will be your original pipeline. Source will be your original pipeline name. Let me call it as pipeline. If you want to utilize any of the resources present in your pipeline. Uh, you can pass that information say if i want to use the resources that is available in the pipeline one okay in those kind of situation i will pass that pipeline one here okay and so this pipeline one is the existing pipeline which i have already created earlier so i'm going to use that so steps um let me add a sample basic script to print something let me add a echo and call it as resource templates resource templates that's all now let me save and run this ok 
okay once i clicked on run you can see my project started running okay let me rename this again for better understanding pipeline 3 all right we save this now if i run pipeline 2 also we run pipeline 2 let the pipeline 2 run as well let's give a moment i will so what it is doing is it is extending the template and running right so now your pipeline 2 also ran successfully this way you can actually extend your template and run all the details uh, i know you can access all the details that is present in your template file right so if you have uh, more queries let me try to edit it and let me try to edit my pipeline 3 okay as soon as there is a change detected in your pipeline you can see all the pipelines will start running resource template uh, let me add it as i want to just make a very basic change now if i save and run this you can notice all my three pipelines started running okay so the reason is because the pipeline one is the actual resource source i have provided pipeline two is the actual template file that is existing where i have extended that pipeline 3 is your actual uh, main file all right so if you have a queries you can look at this this is a pipeline one which i have created a very sample one to execute a echo script all right this is my pipeline one pipeline 2 I, you can see i have uh, this is my pipeline which i main pipeline which i want to run what i'm doing is i'm using an extens keyword and trying to utilize the resources information that is present inside my pipeline 3 okay so this is the file that i'm extending so what you can do is so if you for some reason you do not want someone to take a look at this resource template file and you want to have a control of that what you can do is you can create a template right i hope you now understood it so now if you go to my pipeline 3 again so this is the information that you want to take control of you do not want to run you do not want to share all your information to a different team or a different team member in those kind of situation you can extend a template all right so now i hope you get a, this is not a very idealistic real time real world example but my intention is to make you understand how this concept work okay so do not worry about uh, real time examples i will make a uh, separate end to end via devops video in our upcoming series but for now just understand how the concept works all right so once again to iterate pipeline one was one of the original pipeline that i created earlier and pipeline two is the actual template file right the actual uh, original pipeline where you are extending your template and pipeline three is the resource template okay so you, in this example i have a resource template in meanwhile if you want to add any other parameters and add some build steps also you can do that for now i will i will i am i'm just keeping it very simple so that you understand this concept very clearly all right so that's all guys uh, that's all what i want to cover as part of this video if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you